NumPy has a function that should remind you of a tile floor. In fact, it's called np.tile. That is, if you import a NumPy as np. This is a pretty awesome function that allows you to take a matrix and tile it as many times as you want. So let's get into this NumPy tutorial. <laughs> Let's start IPython and we'll import NumPy as NP. Quickly, I'm just gonna create a random matrix X that's gonna be three by two. Make it type in so you can read it a little bit better. And there is our matrix X that we're gonna use this tile function on. So if we type np.tile and give it X and just some number two, you'll see with our original X, two of X's stacked to the one to the left and one to the right of each other. So it's adding more columns. So here's X again, and let's do np.tile, and this time let's give it a tuple. You can give it a tuple specifying the row, comma, column. So now that we did two, comma, one, you'll see that it's adding an additional X, taking X and copying it down as more rows. So you can see this a little bit better. Let's do np.tile of X, comma, two by two. So this is gonna take the entire array X and make two by two matrix out of it. So you can see there's two X's per each row or there's two X's per each column. Okay, here's X again. Let's do np.tile of X with zero one and just to show you that this is gonna give you back an array that's empty. And going right into our last example. Here's X again and let's do np.tile of a two by three. So now we've added an extra entire matrix X on the row and on every, there's three columns of X and there's two rows of X. So it's copying X three times in the column direction and two times in the row direction. So that's what that two by three tuple is doing that you give it. And that's how you can decide how to tile this matrix out into a lot of different matrices to make one giant matrix. So there you have it. That is how you can use np.tile to tile your matrices and expand them for your personal use. Please check out some of my other Python videos and please subscribe for more Python content.